and welcome to the Absolute Recap Biology Edition, where we aim to maximize your understanding and minimize your need for memorization. Each episode will recap content, skills, and test-taking tips to help you succeed in May. I'm your host, Melanie Kingett, and your recap starts now. Hi, and welcome to the Absolute Recap Biology Edition. Today's episode will recap the Calvin Cycle and the Krebs Cycle. Let's zoom out. We're in Unit 3, Cellular Energetics. Topics 3.5, photosynthesis, and 3.6, cellular respiration. Our big idea is energetics. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Or if you are a plant, inspiration through a stomata, and hopefully not too much transpiration out. So here we are with Calvin versus Krebs and their infamous cyclic pathways. If you are ever lucky enough to have a major scientific discovery, you'd probably name it after yourself too. Let's zoom in. Melvin Calvin was an American biochemist who tinkered with algae and radioactive carbon-14 at the University of California, Berkeley. It was there, along with other scientists, of course, that he unearthed the intermediate compounds of photosynthesis. This process is now termed the dark reaction, or the Calvin cycle, or the Calvin-Benson cycle, depending on the textbook you're reading. Calvin received the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1961 for discovering the chemical pathways of photosynthesis. Time magazine even referred to him as Mr. Photosynthesis. The Calvin cycle occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast. That's the fluid portion of the organelle. And is the second part of photosynthesis. This means that the light reaction has already occurred. Chlorophyll has captured light energy, water was split, electrons were excited, oxygen released, and the coenzyme NADPH produced. Now the organelle will use the other reactant, carbon dioxide, and produce the intended product, sugars. Through a series of steps and unique structural molecules, carbon dioxide is rearranged or fixed to form carbohydrates using chemical energy from ATP and NADPH. The Calvin cycle can be divided into three phases, fixation, reduction, and regeneration. First, carbon is fixed, or joins up with, a 5-carbon molecule from the previous cycle called RUBP, or ribulose bisphosphate, to form a 6-carbon sugar, which splits in half. The reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme Rubisco, one of my favorites, and always reminds me of Nabisco cookies. During the reduction phase, the 3-carbon sugar is rearranged using energy from ATP and NADPH. It's called reduction because electrons are donated by NADPH. You know reduction, coupled with an oxidation, redox reaction for short. Spoiler alert, we haven't actually made glucose, but a 3-carbon molecule called PGAL, or G3P. Which brings us to our final phase, regeneration. This 3-carbon molecule can be used by the cell to make glucose, with another turn of the Calvin cycle, or other biological molecules. We are organic after all, and need carbon chains. The Calvin cycle is able to continue through the regeneration of a 5-carbon sugar, ready to once again join up with carbon dioxide. Hello, AP. So we'll just leave this blank for now, and I'll come back and say the subject name here. Student, I know that you are currently preparing for your AP subject name exam, but are you taking more than one AP course? Maybe you want to get a jump on courses you plan on taking in the future? Do you think that you're better than me? Is that what you think? Because I'll have you know that I... Along with the absolute recap, the subject name, edition, we have podcasts and study guides for biology, chemistry, music theory, physics one, and U.S. government. So if you think you're better than me, I mean, if you are currently taking or plan on taking more than one AP course, visit www.theabsoluterecap.com. That's www.theapsoluterecap.com. And click on the courses link or search The Absolute Recap on any podcasting platform. And now... Back to the absolute recap, the subject name, edition. Next up, Krebs. Sir Hans Krebs, to be exact. Originally from Germany, Krebs left for England during Nazi occupation. The biochemist continued his work at the University of Cambridge, where he experimented with pigeon livers and breast muscles, discovering, along with other scientists, the reactions involved in the breakdown of sugars. This process is known as the citric acid cycle, TCA cycle, or Krebs cycle, no apostrophe. 
It's his last name. He doesn't own the cycle, even if he figured it out. Krebs received the Nobel Prize for Physiology in 1953 for discovering the chemical pathways of cellular respiration. Glucose is gradually oxidized through several steps during the process of glycolysis in the cytosol of cells and during pyruvate oxidation and the Krebs cycle in the inner mitochondrial matrix, the fluid portion of the organelle. Two carbon acetyl-CoA produced from pyruvate oxidation joins with four carbon oxaloacetate from the previous cycle, forming six carbon citrate. Two plus four equals six. This is why the Krebs cycle is also called the citric acid cycle, named after its first formed compound. Through a series of steps, intermediate molecules, and enzymes, carbons are removed from citrate and released as carbon dioxide. The bond energy is captured by ATP and the coenzymes NADH and FADH2. These electron carriers will have a large role in the electron transport chain, where most ATP is produced by oxidative phosphorylation. Check out episode 57 for more details. 4-carbon oxaloacetate is regenerated, ready to join with the next acetyl-CoA. Since glucose has 6 carbons, the Krebs cycle will need to turn twice for complete oxidation of the sugar. Time for unit connections. Watch for energy connections to Unit 8, Ecology, and Biological Molecule Associations with Unit 1, Chemistry of Life. All right, what about the exam? Diagrams of the Calvin cycle and Krebs cycle can be incredibly overwhelming. But remember that you are not required to know the specific steps, molecular structures, intermediate molecules, or enzymes involved for the AP exam. Be prepared to review experimental data and draw conclusions, specifically related to graphing, gas production or consumption, and the correlation between photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Remember, plants do both processes, as they have chloroplasts and mitochondria inside of their cells. To recap, the Calvin cycle forms sugars in the stroma of chloroplasts, while the Krebs cycle oxidizes sugars in the matrix of mitochondria. Named after discovering scientists, they each rearrange carbon, occur in the fluid portion of their respective organelles, involve ATP and coenzymes, and are regenerative by design. Coming up next on the Absolute Recap Biology Edition, cyclins and CDKs, oh my. Today's question of the day is about biological molecules. What group of biological molecules does the coenzyme NADH belong to? For the answer to the question of the day, please follow us on Instagram at The Absolute Recap. That's the A-P-S-O-L-U-T-E Recap. Check out our website, theabsoluterecap.com, for episode schedules, study guides, virtual tutoring, and to sign up for our virtual classroom. The Absolute Recap is produced by Brad Kingett with music by Zach Caruso. Today's episode was written by me, Melanie Kingett. Thanks for subscribing, and don't forget to rate and review wherever you get podcasts. Time's up pencils down. Thank you for listening to the Absolute Recap Biology Edition. AP is a registered trademark of the College Board. Copyright 2020, Absolute Recap LLC, all rights reserved.